And next up, we have Olaf, who is going to be talking to us about how to leverage developer portals in a corporate context, because developer portals are actually a really important way to get people sold on your API mindset, your API future, and everything. So thank you so much. And Olaf, nice car plugging as you work for Mercedes-Benz behind you. Oh, and the whole outfit. But no one else. We cannot see your slides right now, or I cannot at least. I I see a white screen. Can I start? I don't get any. any I don't see your screen. slides, but if we can't, I'm sure we can pair them up later, and we could. You could at least be more over Maybe descriptive about what really you're there. You can give me a hint if I can start with my presentation. I do not see your slides. Um, I don't know if. If we cannot, maybe it makes sense to just move ahead and we can add the slides later and you can just be over descriptive about what's on the slides because we only see a white screen. You see a white screen. This is not mm -hmm. nice. Nice. So I share again. Everyone cross your fingers and your toes, all you listeners out there. Not your eyes. It's not good. It's not good to cross your eyes, especially if you've been staring at a screen all day. And thank you everyone for sharing your feedback about the talks. I haven't been reading them aloud because we've been a bit rushed, but I really appreciate everyone is enjoying these talks and learning from them. It's not working yet, Olaf. I mean, I was on mute. We're having screen share troubles. If it wasn't 2021, you would know it to be so now. While we're waiting, if you're on the chat, thank you for your slides. Questions. These are my slides, first slide. I can't hear I can't you, by the way. I can't anything right now, Ola. Um, so I, everything is here. I was going to say, while we're waiting, if people in the chat it. can tell us where you're calling in from, it would be really interesting to know where everybody's calling in from in the world, as while it's a Helsinki in name, it's definitely a global conference. That sounded promising. If you see Olaf, if you can send your slides to the email in the chat, I think we can get it up by someone else on the team, the API Days team sharing. Sorry, I know this is stressful for you, Olaf. Thank you so much. And thank you for our audience members. So we have Sweden, Sweden, Belgium. I'm calling in from London, by the way, but obviously I'm American. Where else are the listeners from Helsinki? So Olaf, thank you so much for emailing those, Olaf. And thank you, everybody. We have someone from, I'm going to try this one, Stuttgart, Germany. Um, Heverly, Belgium, I think I was going to do. Yeah, everyone's really loving your car, Olaf. So excellent virtual background choice. Um, we have someone from Chemnitz, Germany, Italia. Whereabouts in Italia are you from, Monica? Because why not? <laughs> Hello from the Ukraine. Not the best math person, but it looks like six or seven countries already. That's wonderful. I love that it seems a pretty even split in terms of gender representation, which is also awesome. 
So if you're just coming on now, we're having a bit of technical difficulties, but that's okay. We should be, all be used to that right now. Maybe take a moment to close your eyes or look that, what is it, 20, 20, 20, every 20 minutes, spend 20 seconds looking 20 feet away from your screen. Just take, your, take a moment to relax your eyes. Maybe do a little wrist exercises because we all spend way too much time with type, 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 type. And then always shake them out. It's very good. We have someone from Bucharest. Uh, Monica is living close to Milano, so that's cool. Oh, sorry, you're Spanish, Monica. Um, encantada. Uh, we have Bucharest, Romania. We have Munich BMW user. Wink, wink, someone said. Um, Lithuania, ooh, this is a wonderful cross Japan European conference. So Olaf, you cannot hear me right now, Olaf, or you can? This is 2021. We are used to this now, everyone. So I am really appreciative for your patience. Things are always going so to happen. Can see and hear me. I just wait we for can some see and hear. Uh, trigger that I can start with my presentation. This new platform is not working well, for, at least for Mercedes. It is a pity. Uh, the test we had a few days before worked very well. And so let, let's see when when we can start just to hopefully a few a few minutes or even seconds. We've all been here and that's totally fine. Thank you everyone for being patient and definitely start thinking about your questions for the panel. Mm -hmm. The harder the better. What do you call a cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. But what do you call a pepper that's not yours? I can't hear. Jalapeno business. If you can give me a hint. I think it's I'm okay that Olaf can't hear me. <laughs> I think he's better off for yeah, not I, you. I, I could. Know that there is a delay if I start the stage in Hoopin, there is a delay that will not work. So at least if you send me a short note, I would just run through the presentation. If, we, if someone could share the, the presentation for me, then we can really... Hoopin, Hoopin is closed. Okay. Okay, it looks like we are good to go if Olaf is oh, ready. See the presentation. Um, this is crazy. I can present. Okay, my, my dear friends, let's start. Uh, just a second. Another yeah. second, please. Okay. I hope this works. Um, some technical issues. Uh, nevertheless, thank you for uh, having me here in the API days in Nordics. It's the first time that um, May and, and Mercedes-Benz developers team is engaging here in this conference. Um, my name is Olaf. I'm the community manager of the Mercedes-Benz developers team. Um, besides that, I'm also a product manager for an upcoming product that will hopefully be launched soon. Um, so. Please join me in the walk through the Mercedes-Benz developers portal, um, our journey, and I will give you some some insights on the the let's say the corporate context we have at the Mercedes at Mercedes-Benz. If you will now switch to the next slide. So first of all, I will invite you to really join our Mercedes-Benz developer community. It's, everything is for free. You can walk around and check out the uh, interesting Inspira stories where you can see how other customers have really integrated uh, our APIs 
to improve their uh, services and, and businesses. Everything is for free. We have trial products you can use also for free. And when you decide to really use the APIs in a, a business manner, then just start on the request to get your productive credentials. Next slide, please. I always wait for a few seconds, hope that the right slide is on the page. So the, now we have the, the, the timeline with our history. With our, um, as you can see, we started in June 2017. This means in a few months, we really party our fourth birthday that will be a virtual party. Nevertheless, uh, we started one year before with the internal team and set up of the platform. And another one year before, we started setting up the, the, uh, uh, the internal API management platform. So we share both the internal and the public stuff on the same platform. The official launch we had uh, in November 2017 at the Web Summit in Lisbon. And one year later, in, in December 18, we launched the first vehicle data products, really uh, allowing access to the car, retrieving status information, but also to update some statuses. And in September 19, we, we extended it with the uh, Mercedes-Benz mobile SDK. So besides the APIs, more focusing on backend integration, we provide the SDK with the intention to really develop app in the iOS and Android ecosystem. Uh, last year in, in June, we started the initiative, which we call Bring Your Own Car, which really allows um, private developers to uh, work with the APIs for free as long as you really connect to your uh, private car. Um, this is really helping us to, uh, or we see a lot of innovation in this field, and I have a slide later on. And last month, we started the first anonymized data product, uh, which is also a complete growing a new field um, with uh, in, in the urban mobility context and uh, also the car to infrastructure context. Also, there will be a another slide in, in my presentation. Next slide, please. If you look on the data itself, and we call that, or we name it Mercedes-Benz data, we have three main pillars. On the left side, we have this marketing data. It is our, our, the, the, the core asset that we have um, allowing uh, our, our core partners, Mercedes-Benz dealers, to really um, improve uh, or very, very easy in, uh, set up online offers and use the content in the, on their website. So they have really time and, and cost savings applying or integration, integrating our APIs. The middle part is everything that relates to the vehicle. So we have here, starting with the, the connected car APIs, we have more than 130 30 data points that can be accessed. When we started, we focused on, on customers with one or a few cars and Last year, we really extended this to really support fleet customers with their dedicated needs to really improve um, or optimize the, the, the operations of their vehicle fleet. On the right part, we have this anonymized area, absolutely new and growing. And if you attended the, the keynote in the beginning, that really relates to this. So the on all levels of local authorities, um, on, on national level, and even on, on European level, we have upcoming initiatives to really bring the, the players together, bring the data together together to allow new business solutions and, and even business models. And the SRTI is stuff that focus on safety stuff, but we also have uh, things that optimize the mobility at all. Next slide, please. If we flip it around and look to the audiences, then we have the from the traditional point of view, the developers. So, and we already have the, the business partners or the business customer, which have a, yeah, a business contact and not are not the, the tech guys. And and we have put on the let's say technical layer and mediation layer to really uh, help the business customers to guide through the platform and find the right product that relates to their business needs. And in addition to that, we have the, the fleet ones and then the new part with the cities um, or local authorities, um, urban mobility or metropolitan areas. So there is really another big audience. And with this more extended view towards the audiences, you sh we should never name a developer portal a developer portal. 
because it's really emerged to a more business enabling platform. Next slide, please. Um, at Daimler, which is the, the overall corporate, we really treat data with responsibility. So, and there is an, an overall data vision that that is the, that cover all topics of processes, compliance rules, boards, processes, and so on. And this one is completely interconnected with the processes we have set up to really um, operate um, products. So, from the product idea towards that a product get launched, there is a long time and even processes to follow. And they're really related to this data vision. And the technical part is the smallest part to really set up a new product. And it's more time consuming to negotiate, to evaluate, really discuss, and get the approvals for the legal and financial stuff. Financial stuff. So if you're interested in, please check out the, the uh, Daimler link below. And then there is more, more information about how we really um, handle data also in the context of data products. Next slide, please. I'm on the um, API product slide, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully you're on the same slide. Um, the, one of the big hurdles we currently have is um, that we have to, well, we are working on restructuring our API catalog. When, when we started 2017, uh, we started with four APIs, so they all fit on one page, no, no issue to optimize this page. Until now, we have 15 public products, and there are an additional 15 ones visible for dedicated customers. And then we have this funnel of upcoming products for the next months and even years. So we're really working on optimizing the, the these API catalog to allow the customers to easier find the ones relevant for him. So and, and, and beside, say, the search or filter capabilities, we really think of an, an AI framework that really gets the context from the customers and put the ones in front of him, uh, that the products that are relevant for him. So stay tuned, and and later this year you will really see our optimized, rework, fully reworked um, API catalog. Next slide, please. Last year we won three awards in the Dev Portal Award competition and. I put the slide in not to um, impress you or to be boastful. Um, for me, this is uh, really helpful, and and it um, really is, if you set the focus to dedicated stuff, you can really improve your your dev portal. So with the kind of maturity level that you have to um, um, achieve uh, step by step. And if you see the um, categories in, 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 in on the bottom, there are really choices you can do for your Dev portal, depending on where you are and where you are, want to go. The year before, we won the award in the best design category. Well, at the CDS Benz, we love design, so we really appreciated this, this award. And, and last year, we really decided what are the right categories, what is the right focus, what was the right focus for us. And if you look at the, the ice skating sports area, the mandatory part and the free part. Regarding developer portals and targeting to developer experience, we really decided the, the, the must have capability is, is onboarding and API reference documentation and support. So, as fast as possible, onboard new developers and as fast as possible, get them their job done. So, and uh, as we received the award, it really confirmed us uh, or verified that we made a good job in this. Going in 2021, we have not yet decided what will be the focus points this year. Um, I, I, my, my personal favorites are the best accessible category, because here you, we, you really focus on, on any kind of hand, handicapped people and, and remove or lower any, any entry barriers and invite all kinds of audiences to really work with your assets. So this, for me, is really valuable. Another one is, as I told you in the beginning, I'm the community manager. And if you walk around our portal, you find not that many features or capabilities for, co uh, for the, the community itself. So community spotlight and outreach would be my absolute favorite. And we are still discussing, so stay tuned. Um, later this year, you will really see what will be, or what we have defined for the focus categories for 2021. 
and I can also invite you to join the Death Portal Awards um, community because there are not a kind of competition, it's more that there are lots of friends um, and you can really share best practices between them. So, and, and, and even uh, Lufthansa and Amadeus are uh, in this community. So we, we have a cool screen here, by the way. Yeah, next slide, please. I'm on the BioCall slide. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, we have a heart for private developers and, and we launched this initiative to really enable or engage them and, and uh, let them play around with our APIs. We see engagement in the home automation really connect your Alexa with the car. We see it in more provider IoT uh, communities and also in the upcoming um, electric vehicle um, area or in the charging topic. So there are um, some platforms who um, think of the, the private uh, um, charging wallets, wall boxes, sorry, um, how to connect with the, the home automation system and how to connect with the cars. So we see lots of innovation and we really, uh, um, yeah, we really try to help them as, as much as possible. The funny thing is if we look at all the traffic on our platform, we see the majority uh, of traffic is generated by them, so by the bring your own car guys with the, with the focus on innovation. And there is a, an, another area of uh, API that generates our, um, our revenue. So there is a, a nice balance and, and we really see how this will uh, develop further. Next slide, please. This is the one with the Mercedes on, and there's the one in the background as well. So the, there is one big um, impediment if you work with Mercedes-Benz API, and it's that you need a Mercedes-Benz car. So if you don't have a Mercedes-Benz car, it's not that funny. To overcome this obstacle, we, we offer you a virtual Mercedes-Benz, and we name it Car Simulator. So we, we offer the simulator from the beginning onwards, so it's also there for a few years, not not often known, it's hidden in, on, on the platform, but nevertheless, if you want to develop with APIs, use the uh, car simulator, and it's even better to develop and test with the virtual Mercedes-Benz before you really connect your physical one. Next slide, please. Mercedes-Benz has restructured their um, Mercedes Me app family, which focusing on, on our end consumers with a more uh, purpose through more uh, approach and they all share an underlying Mercedes-Benz mobile SDK and the good thing is that and you know please directly jump over to the next slide and the good thing is that Mercedes-Benz decided to give this SDK also out to third-party developers so you really find the sources on github and um, and beside the sources itself, we offer a sample lab. So there is no need to start from scratch. You can really use the sample lab and iterate on that towards what you have in mind and what you want to in implement. And as well, we have a dedicated simulator, virtual Mercedes-Benz car for the um, SDK. So we support backend API integration as well as the app environment. And then we continue with the next slide. And this is also the, the final slide already. So thank you very much for, for listening. Um, we are a very open-minded community at Mercedes-Benz. So really feel free to connect with us. You can either touch me on, on LinkedIn or via our portal. And we still offer our um, old fashioned email. And some nice story that, that I will end up with today we really um, achieved or welcomed our um, developer number 7,000. So we really hit this marker and this is also um, for me um, um, a push to more focus on the community itself and we grow per 300 developers per month so there's really ongoing um, activity and they don't know themselves so bringing them together and um, help them to more share best practices and, and explode our um, asset will be one of the focus point at least for me and with this let's try to manage some questions I don't know if it works we will see thank you very much thank you so much Olaf I think we cannot stress how stressful it can, can be technical difficulties put it in the chat 
Oh, that's great. He said he can read questions if we put it at the chat. So uh, we have our first question. Uh, we'll see if this works. Otherwise, we'll very happily continue this question after um, after the panel and in the, the actual literal chat of Hoppin. So let's just see if Olaf answers that. Otherwise, we'll move on. And that's totally OK. OK. Thank you. Um, are they all developers? Well, we have seen the audience at, at the beginning. Um, we have not. We need some more analytics on, on our, uh, even on our developer community. Um, I don't know exactly. We have uh, devs, business. Or if, if you have con um, business partners who contracted our product, they are in this mass. So we we count them as developer, even though you should 